بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیٹ اس ڈسکس دی الٹرا ساؤنڈ اپیئرنس آف یوٹرائن فائبرائڈ ہاؤ ڈز یوٹرائن فائبرائڈ لک لائک آن الٹرا ساؤنڈ okay there is a specific appearance which we should keep in mind while doing ultrasound of patient with signs and symptoms suggestive of uterine fibroid okay so the first question is how does uterine fibroid look like on ultrasound okay it's important to know that uterine fibroid most often appear on ultrasonogram as concentric solid and hypoechoic masses okay we have hypoechoic masses mean slightly darker in color as compared to the surrounding structure this is very important to know like for instance if we look at uh, this diagram this ultrasound of one patient you can see the normal myometrium at one place and also a small hypoechoic area of myoma okay that hypoechoic area is most probably the uterine fibroid okay uh, so we have to keep this thing in mind now another question that usually arises is that what causes the specific appearance of fibroid okay uh, so we have said that yes the uterine fibroid is the one in which there is concentric solid hypoechoic mass so why is there hypoechoic appearance why is the appearance of a uh, fibroid different from the other tissues okay the answer is that it results from prevailing muscles which is observed at histological examination okay the muscles are not observed on ultrasound if we do the histological examination of uh, the uterus which has been histrectomized only that will give us the confirmatory report so the prevailing muscles there uh, because of them we have specific appearance these solid masses absorb solid waves and therefore cause a variable amount of acoustic shadowing so you can see the specific appearance in this ultrasound you can see concentric solid as well as the hypoechoic masses also in this ultrasound we you can see the concentric hypoechoic masses now pedunculated fibroids usually the patients have pedunculated intrauterine fibroids on the ultrasounds which are not of good quality you you really see that uh, there is increased endometrial thickness but if we use the good quality ultrasound scan machine you can identify or you can diagnose the pedunculated fibroid they can be mistaken on imaging for ovarian dermoid because it looks like there are different sort of shadows in that fibroids okay that's why <clears throat> it is said that pedunculated fibroids are usually missed for ovarian dermoids but at ultrasound they are typically echogenic masses and in contrast to usually hypoechoic fibroids okay you can see the uh, pedunculated fibroid okay so these are usually echogenic masses you can see a little bit echogenic masses as compared to uh, the hypoechoic well well defined hypoechoic masses okay uh, and due to its specific location we can see that these are pedunculated fibroid now coming to submucosal fibroid on ultrasound submucosal fibroids are typically seen as broad based hypoechoic well defined solid masses with shadowing okay so that is submucosal fibroid you can see from this ultrasound okay saline fluid injected in the uterine cavity submucosal fibroids are apparent and um, you can see that these are hypoechoic well defined solid masses with shadowing
now subserosal fibrins subserosal fibrins uh, subserosal fi uterine leomyoma is a type of uterine leomyoma that often exophytically projects outward from subserosal location while its exact definition may vary a leomyoma is often called subserosal if more than 50% of the fibrins protrude out of the serosal surface of the fibrin okay so in this picture in this ultrasound picture you can see the subserosal fibroid okay which protrude out of the serosal surface of the uterus here you can see cervical fibroid during reproductive years so we have discussed few ultrasound appearances of the different types of uterine fibroids thank you so much for your patience allah hafiz